Alright. So here is the most important one thing that I can possibly tell my children, I think. And the one reason that I don't think that we, me, or I guess a man and his family see eye to eye, I believe that the biggest misconception or misunderstanding between, well, a man, his work, and his family. It goes like this. I don't think you understand what work is. Most people don't understand or they're just not looking at work for what it really is. What is work? Well, there's nothing in life that will bring you more of what you enjoy than your work. So there's nothing that will bring you more of what you want, what you enjoy, than work does. So what is this work? Work is a home. Work is family, it's food, it is good looks, it's money, it's clothes, it's cars, it's gas, it's health, fun, strength, ski trips, family vacations, friends, TVs, phones. That's what work brings you on a physical level. What about on a philosophical level, what does work do for you mentally? Excuse me, Joe. Well, mentally, your work should be something that you do to help others. It is literally the way you serve your community, your friends, your family. It's a service provided to others, and the only way you can provide it in mass is, well, for a cross. So, you sell part of your time to bring this service to others so that you can help them. It should be a worthy goal. Time well spent, your gift to the world it brings honor, should bring social status, social events, how you are known, and any prestige that you might acquire will be acquired through your work. Um, so, in summation, Choose your work or the way that you help others wisely so it's something that it's worth your time, that you enjoy, that you can be proud of. Because if you're going to spend your life dedicated to anything, it will be your work. So why not make it something that brings you these things and that you enjoy? Because if you enjoy it, you will be good at it. But if you don't learn to enjoy work, I assure you, you will not enjoy your life very much. So... Let's set out to find work that we can take the world that will show who we are and 
bring us all the nice things that we want. It's kind of funny. The only way to become great is to serve other people. And service to others will always lead to greatness if you're good at it. Those who do not like to serve others that only wish to be served by others, they are the ones who we have to help. They are the ones who, well, don't have very much because they're not willing to help other people. But for those of us who are willing to help other people and for those individuals that become exceptionally good at blessing others, the world is theirs. If you're willing to serve everyone first, you will be served by everyone. Think about it. Bill Gates provides a service that everyone uses and because of that he wants for nothing. He is served. If you have an idea to serve the world, and you make it happen and the world wants your service, the world is at your service. You are able to serve them, they buy, you make a profit, even if it's just a little bitty profit. Because I promise you that Bill Gates, Steve Jobs didn't make 1% of what they brought in. That's all it takes if you provide a lot of service. or work, if that's what you want to call it.